Hi, this is a video for Laura Bell. I just, um, she had a few questions about hemorrhoids and pull-offs. So I was just going to address a few things that I've run across in uh, the few years that um, I've been working on it. When I was work when I was competing, I would try and try to get things clearer, and um, I found that there was a few little things that I could do. Number one. I tuned my DAD to CGC, which made my strings a whole lot looser. So that gave me a lot better, uh, cleaner pull-offs, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Once I found that, I just ended up staying that way because I really like the sound of CGC. So um, the other thing I found, I have two ways of doing them. Sometimes I do them face-on with mostly my pointer and my ring. Now when I do them, it's not like a pull up or a pull off. I just run my finger across them and I'm actually kind of doing it like carpets do it and I'm pulling my finger, pulling my finger up into my palm. So we don't want to be yanking them off and we don't want to be pulling them up. You push down and then you just kind of snap your fingers closed, bringing your finger up into your palm with a real quick flick. So it's not, we want to do a, and that'll give you a little bit clearer sound. The other thing, I went, I was playing with the 12 string because I wanted it to be louder and I decided to go back to the 10 string and when I did I got a much cleaner um, more precise pull on where you can hear all of the notes if you're just um, getting a bunch of mush and you're not hearing individual notes then it doesn't do a whole lot of good to do them because what you need to strive for is to be able to hear each individual note which was what I was working on. Um, the other thing is a lot of time I play with only three strings because I find it very difficult to do clean pull-offs with two strings and uh, oftentimes people do play with three strings but they take off the outside one and leave the inside one leaving it about mm, an eighth of an inch or so from the edge and I prefer mine on the very edge because I found that I can do a really uh, lot cleaner one than I have than if I have to pull for a long period of time to get it to make a sound. Now, I said I do it two different ways. I do frontal with my hand facing front sometimes, but most of the time I use my thumb because I'm playing chord melody style and I don't want to release my, my chord and I want to keep my hand running in the same kind of direction so if I'm gonna do and I have to and I play the chord the only way you can do that and come around is to lose probably both the bass and the middle which makes really choppy playing. So if I don't want this. I want this. So that I still have all of my underneath going on without losing any of it. So I've learned to use my thumb a lot so that I don't have to give up my middle and bass string sounds. So, let me do that one more time. Now when you take that up to speed, it's, um...
so I would use my thumb on that. Now something like Turkey in the Straw where I'm not playing full chords. Then I would do face on because sometimes I can get um, a cleaner, faster sound going across. Um, now there are some times where I get up and have to do something and, and I, I just see which one I can get the cleanest sound from because I want to hear every note. So a lot of times it's just trying which ones, which fingering works better. when I, I chose to do the frontal part because I could not get my thumb to work as fast to keep it. I hadn't played it in a long time. That's Mari's Wedding. Haven't played that in a very long time, but I had a real difficult problem with that one, trying to figure out which ones of the fingerings were the best. And uh, most of the time I play with full three chord. Um, this is a little bit of the first part of uh, an old Carolyn piece that I do, Fairy Queen. So you see, I've left this bass string down because I don't want to give up that sound. So doing something like that where you're keeping all your fingers down is very different than playing than strumming when you have your bass your bass string is not being fretted because then you always have that continuous sound going on. But when you're finger picking or flat picking, you really have to hold those undertones down if you want them to keep ringing. So that's about all I can think of about hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, so I hope this helps you a little bit, Laura, and I'll get back with y'all soon. Thanks. Bye. Have a good day.